sup sup flappers welcome back to another video and this is gonna be it this is the last one i've gathered all my thoughts and i think that now i can definitively say i can place her in a relatively accurate position among the hierarchy of all the characters and yes uh, i do have some weird stuff on my face some of you guys might be like oh warris <laughs> he's gonna give his hot take again oh, look he even has the clown makeup on all right it cheese it it's it's freaking facial medication all right chill but i guess for the haters um this is just gonna be more enjoyable to, to help ease you into the hating process right just imagine this is clown makeup so anyways let's talk about yellen because i think this character has gone through a, a little bit of turbulence but not nearly as much as some of the other characters because i think at this very moment collectively as a community we can all say she's a uh, all right, say it with me. She's a good character. That's right. But, you know, the range of a good character is quite large as of now. We have characters that are good ranging from Yunjin all the way to Kazuha. So just exactly where does Yellen sit among this hierarchy of a good character? I'm not going to drag this on indefinitely for you guys. I think Yellen sits at the lower S tier. All right. And that is me after that I said when she first released, when I tested her, it felt like she's a high A tier. But now, after some discussion, after testing it more and talking with my peers, seeing what they have to say, and also trying out us like you guys this character fits in so many teams albeit not the best and of course we're going to talk about that because i think that's a little bit skewed when people kind of try to push her into that ss like you know kazuha level i don't think she is quite kazuha level although they're in the same tier but then again s tier is not all the same as well uh let's start from the very beginning let's just talk about herself let's not get into the whole synergistic thing herself yelling as a character she has a great kit she has something in her kit that is unique to her and i think that is very important while someone like uh, let's just use ayato also very new character he is strong he has great potential in a lot of different team options and he provides unique place out that is unique to him but he doesn't really do anything that is specific to him what i mean by there are no mechanics in his kit that no other character in the game has so you guys could say oh but walrus he has a cool sword stand ching 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 but if you break that down that is just uh, fast hydro damage right and in a way tartaglia's elemental skill is also ching 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 just a different ching ching so that's out of the window what about his burst goes like oh walrus he makes what rain droplets fall from the sky like yeah but that is just disguised as like coco me skill but with a little bit of damage and bigger area i guess in a way coco me's pulsing is very consistent within that range you know it's gonna hit everything every couple of seconds so in a way he doesn't really do anything that no one else does so talking about yellen her elemental skill some people might be like oh it's so unique it's amazing i love it it is amazing but that's not the skill i want to talk about of course you guys know what we're gonna be talking about we're talking about the talent that goes with her burst skill right uh ascension four talent that is the one that i think pushes yellen beyond just a general character and i think some has even gone as far as saying you know yellen is a revolutionary character she is like the beginning of a whole new era of meta well i do think for the most part they're not too far off the mark she isn't as crazy as uh people make her out to be at least not now because while her own ceiling is high and of course she pushes the ceiling of other characters i'm talking about damage ceilings because of her ramping buff um she currently lacks in potential and when i say potential i'm really talking about for the future because kazuha has solidified himself without a doubt in the meta whenever there's any elemental based character within the pyro cryo hydro or electro kazuha is going to be your go-to i think that has not changed even with yellen being introduced there are only very 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 few select teams where yellen can maybe be on par or maybe outshine kazuha ever so slightly and those teams oftentimes revolve around yellen as a damage dealer as opposed to a facilitator or a support so you know is that really fair because kazuha is not really a damage dealer so we're not going to talk about those focusing on her potential right now there is one scenario that can really propel yellen to to a much higher tier of a uh, unit which probably would push her to kazuha tier and that is her synergy with dendro and how dendro synergizes with Anemo. now this is all speculatory i don't know if you guys peer into the future and you have people whispering in your ears at night being like oh the next patch is gonna have kazuha with who and who right sure all right you guys be my guests but i don't know i'm just gonna say this if Anemo does not synergize or has no reaction 
right with dendro so meaning you can't swirl with it you end up with dendro anemo and geo forming a trifecta of three elements that don't interact with each other whatsoever if that were to happen obviously your viridescent set would go straight out the window right into the dumpster when it comes to dendro teams meaning kazuha will not exist in any form of dendro centric teams meaning there's going to be a whole variety of teams that kazuha just won't work in and that is currently not that big of a problem for what we currently have we got some physical damage options because of mono geo teams nobody cares kazuha don't need to be in every one of those teams but as dendro comes out and you guys will know it's gonna take over the meta for at least a couple patches if you don't have yellen and you only have kazuha you're gonna find it difficult to amp up a certain dendro potential main dps options who knows right that's what i'm talking about that's when i say potential I'm, I'm not factoring that into it right now because it's not a reality it's all up in the air it's like oh we'll go do it. it might it might happen it might not happen so i'm not factoring that in i'm just saying there is a way yellen could get even better than she is now all right so moving on to her support capabilities i think we have to be honest about this one yes you have heard me say you have heard other people say it yellen could theoretically empower every single team with more damage but oftentimes that's at the cost something because nowadays we have a main dps we have a very very well synergized support dps we have a great applicator or a, you know buffer slash healer a healer basically that functions in more than one role and yellen can't fit the healer role so yellen is really fighting for that support dps or pure support and or i guess she could be the main dps or a driver whatever you want to call it but right now i'm starting to see the issue that there's just not enough slots in the game like in the team for for yellen to fit into a lot of uh, options without you know kind of taking out the the healer now of course talking about this is gonna be with the idea of maximizing damage because if you're getting yellen you're slapping under team your goal is to get a higher damage ceiling and for the most part you're gonna be fighting with um, a ton of different slot positions in teams where Xing Chu exists, it's easy to slot her in and try to push damage that way. But there are just other teams that Xing Chu doesn't exist, and you're like, oh, theoretically, if I slap uh, Yellen in here, I'm gonna get a huge damage buff. And yes, you are, but oftentimes it's gonna be at the cost of some sort of functionality or utility. So it's not always 100% uh, plus with no downside. And sometimes those utilities were crucial to making the team work. Uh, a great example is your Yoimiya team. So Yoimiya Mia team, Yellen has to replace uh, Xingqiu. And after Xingqiu is gone, you got Yoimiya, Yellen, who is going to be your healer, right? Bennett, probably. Slap Bennett in. And then the last slot is either going to be Yunjin or it's going to be Zhongli. If you want more damage, you go with Yunjin and you rely on Crystallize to protect your Yoimiya and to keep her attack string going. If you go with Zhongli, you lose out on damage, but you get that consistency in the shield, knowing Yoimiya will always have the protection to finish her auto strings. And of of course, with Bennett, it heavily restricts the area that Yoimiya can move in, meaning that without that consistency in the Zhongli shield, if you just heavily rely on Yunjin, you might struggle a little bit to uh, sometimes to finish your entire attack string. You know, that is a scenario right now that we're facing, but thanks to Yellen, you're able to amp up a lot more damage as opposed to if you just had Xingqiu. So Yoimiya does feel very comfortable in that team. For the most part, in national teams, Yellen will just replace Xingqiu, so you don't see that big of a problem there. However, as many has found out, Yellen actually works really well with Xing Chu. So uh, it has come to the point where people say, oh, well, Xing Chu is just a four-star Yellen or Yellen is a five-star Xing Chu. But in this case, they kind of lean into each other extremely well. And in fact, I do think that uh, one of her best teams is paired with Xing Chu in a mono hydro team. What gives, right? Who would have thought that uh, when you have two characters that are some of the best damage layering units in the game, they kind of layer damage with each other extremely well well mind blown so at the end of the day i do think yellen's strength are going to be that she raises the damage ceilings of your team that's no doubt about it she has great on field and off field presence she, your time on field with yellen is not wasted her elemental skill is great it generates a good amount of particles and she is self-sustaining she is incredibly free to play friendly her c0 is already very good along with really good weapons even four star weapons as options some of you guys probably just have some of this stuff lying around or like a sacrificial bow or you have a favonius war bow there's a good chance you have one just lying around or even potentially an r3 or higher one that 
you've never really、uh, devoted to building. Her scaling is great because of her buffing. You don't really need to worry about building too much、uh, raw damage. In fact, everything scales off of HP. How about that, right? You need to consider the fact that she now also doesn't fight artifacts against a ton of other units. And of course, she uses an artifact set that is very universal in the game, so it's very easy to get another good piece for her to to get a random upgrade when you're farming for someone else. There's like five, six different characters that uses the emblem set and. Yellen is one of them. That's a lot of good things going for her, right? She even has more potential in the future with Dendro being released. And of course, if there's going to be a future element as well, damage buff is universal. There's not going to ever be a scenario in the future of Genshin where damage buffing isn't important. Granted, we might get a character that does it better. I don't know, but it seems like Yellen is gonna be. Very indicative of what is going to be considered a good character、uh, going forward. Now, some of the cons is that I do think、uh, she is a little over exaggerated in how universal she really is. Yes, she can theoretically fit into all the teams, but it's not optimal to fit her into all the teams. If you maybe had a fifth slot, she's gonna be even better. I think if you had a fifth slot, Yellen would be so damn good. But unfortunately, the game only has four slots, and you're stuck picking and choosing your poison between Yellen and Kazuha in most elemental teams. You're gonna. Go with Kazuha, so she really only ends up in a couple niche teams and a, a new team where she is in the Mono Hydro team with Shinchu, and of course. The remainder roles is just she kind of replaces Shinchu in a couple of teams, and that's it. That's gonna be her cons. I do think overall it's a really strong character. That's why I put her in, you know, S tier, lower S tier. And with how she reacts to Dendro, I may push her up on my list. And I'm sure for most people, she's gonna be sitting around there somewhere. All right.、Uh, I'm glad a character like this has finally came out. This is gonna be my last video, kind of breaking her down. I do think she's a worth. Pull and if you do end up missing out on her, don't worry. Hoyovers、uh, likely will find a way to make you feel bad about it, and、uh, she will rerun likely before the end of the year. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, she doesn't end up being super good, and there's no swirl with Dendro, and now you only have Yellen to fit in those teams, and Hoyovers just slaps it in your face every opportunity they get until they finally rerun her sometimes in the middle of next year. Who knows, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, don't let that bother you though. Pick up Kazuha. I think Kazuha is still going to be a really good character. He's not going to really fall out. It's just that they can't always build the game around one character, right? It just makes sense. So if you guys look at leaks, go look at leaks. You'll probably find out more information than you can sitting here listening to me. Again, thank you guys so much. If you guys want to win a Yellen or a Zhao of your choice, tune into the live stream later today. Probably give or take like ten hours from now. All right, and I'm gonna be picking the winner on my live stream right here on YouTube. So I'll see you guys then. Till then, stay safe. Peace, peace. Bye.